This is Sebastian Mendel Martinez for MMANut.com here with Tobias Bad Intention Harla, who just won the main event here at Superior Challenge 21. Tobias, everyone I've spoken with has said that that was the best fight in Swedish MMA history. How does it feel to have been a part of that? It feels amazing. Uh, you know, it's I'm very emotional right now. I, I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, you know. I still, you know, when the adrenaline goes down, uh, it feels in the body, you know. It was a hard fight. I got hits. It feels like I've been hit by a truck, you know. But I, it was a good fight, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We certainly did. You faced Adam Veslund, who was undefeated, called by many like the Swedish Nick Diaz, and it was a back-and-forth fight. You dropped him twice in the first round. What was going through your mind then? Did you think you were going to be able to finish him that early? I don't know. I, I thought so. I thought when I dropped him first, you know, I'm when I drop somebody, I, I I'm, I'm I usually finish them, you know, with ground and pound and everything. But he he was he got clear in the head pretty quick, and I didn't want to because I I dropped him the first time pretty early, so I wanted didn't want to. You know, burn myself out. So I was like, relax, because I know when I drop somebody once, I know I'm going to drop him again. But this is a hard motherfucker. Uh, you know, I had to dig deep. You know, in second round when he started to, ah, oh, man, that was hard. You know, and in the in when we were supposed to go into the third round, my coach just said like, stop, stop. Uh, you can't. Just standing against the cage, he's going to win the fight, and you need to stop. Uh, you, you're not going to finish him. Just uh, take the points, you know, uh, hit him and 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 move. So I was like, "Fuck, I'm not going to lose this shit. I'm going to win this motherfucker." Uh, and then I started to just like trying to hit him, move a little bit, uh, and then I dropped him again, and then I just fucking. Uh, I thought I was down on points, then I just gave my everything. Yeah, well, I think most people are in agreement. You won the first round, dropping him twice. I mean, he won the second round, he took you down, he held you again, and he hit you with a lot of heavy elbows. Heading into the third round, you answered a question where I was going to ask, but your coaches told you, so that's great. But what were, your, what were you feeling like when you were heading in there? Mm, into the third round? Yeah. Uh, I felt I was down. On, I, I, I felt like he won the second round, and he's starting to... You know, it's it's different, you know, when you're in a fight and you're starting to get punished, it's fucking, <laughs> it's not nice, you know. Uh, and he hit me hard, he hit me with elbows, he hit me in the body, and I started to get tired, but I was like, I'm not giving up, man, I'm going to fuck, fucking win this fight. And I did. You certainly did, but on a razor's edge because split decision, which I think some people were a little bit surprised of. I mean, you dropped him again in the third round, which I, for me anyway solidified that round as yours. When you heard that it was a split decision, what was going through your mind? Uh, I don't know, you know. But were you afraid that they were going to give it to him? Not really, because because I asked my coach, did I win the fight? And he said, yeah, you did. Uh, and I was like, I, I, th I thought I won the first round. I knew he won the second round. And I like, I'm like, uh, in the third round, I was like, fuck, he's winning this round as well. Then I dropped him. Then I, after that, I like, okay, I, sh I think I won this fight. You know, at the same time, you think a lot. You know, you, you like analyzing things, but at the same time, everything is so quick. You know, like I. I didn't know if I got dropped anything in the fight because I got hit so much. I didn't know, like, I don't know, man. Yeah, like you said, after a fight, you said you were fighting for your life. And that truly was the kind of performance that creates legends. And like I said, most people are calling the best fight in Swedish MMA history. This does a lot for you. You started the year winning the Swedish BMF title in Fight Club Rush. Then you massacred the butcher, Rafael Macedo, BJJ Black Belt in Brave. And now you've settled perhaps the biggest question as to who is the biggest, hottest prospect out of Sweden. What awaits you after this? The UFC, man. I, I, the UFC, I think, man. I think after a performance like that, you'd be hard-pressed not 
to find somebody that agrees with that statement. Tobias, thank you very much. You're always entertaining, but this was truly something else. And I know that we're all here glad to have been a part of it. Thank you very much. Thank you, man.